Hi Forex Fortune Hunters, Tom Wilmot here and let's practice with our Fibonacci levels a little more. I was trying to decide as we moved into the Monday session here with the EURUSD on a 30 minute chart how I could interpret uh, the, the, uh, the changes in price trend, the minor pullback that occurred on Friday in the EURUSD pair and then try to see if the Fibonacci's in fact uh, would help us as we uh, moved into the week find out uh, what our targets ought to be. And in fact, they did quite nicely. Remember that we said we'd like to take uh, an AB swing that bisects a uh, chandelier bar. And in fact, that's what happened here. I won't bother to put the letters on, but A to a low B. And then we had a, a situation uh, come up where we clearly wanted to uh, uh, see whether we were going to roll and continue a euro to the downside. And in fact, that was at the 109.68 level, 109.50 in this particular area. We had a drop down, pull back into the bands, these three uh, levels, uh, including the 50% pullback level. And if in fact, our, our rule has been, if in fact you are going to uh, continue the downswing and potentially hit the 127 or the 1618 down in this area down here, which would have been uh, 108, uh, 50, something of that sort, that you'd be in a position <clears throat> to see uh, this chandelier hold, this resistance hold. But look what happened. In fact, it was taken out just at the end of the Asian session. This uh, candle happened to have been at 3.30, and that would have been about 8.30, uh, 9.30 uh, uh, East Coast time. And then as we move closer to the London session, uh, the bids began to pick up uh, for the euro over the dollar. The dollar weakened rather significantly. And uh, here we were uh, as we moved into the London session. And here's our first London candle. And that was good for almost 65 pips, that particular move. So let's just review quickly that when you have your A, B swing, it should bisect the can uh, chandelier. And you should try to watch for uh, whether you're going to have a continued move to the downside here on the typical uh, Fibonacci pattern. Uh, and if uh, that's going to occur, this chandelier has to hold when it breaks. And when you have this breach and this move to the upside, it's a pl pretty clear indication that at the very least, you're going to get back into the 100% level. Notice also that the first target we achieved was almost exactly to the pip at the 127. Quite miraculous, actually. We had a pullback at the 930 candle on, on my server, which is right before the London Open. This would be at 230 London time. And then our big uh, uh, bidders come in and the volume comes in right at the uh, beginning of the London session uh, and, and drives the price not only to the 1618, but all the way to the 200% on this particular pullback. Okay, so now another way to do this, just if you want to see uh, how it worked in opposition, we take this, we have our swing here, our first move is to the upside, right here, okay, and we have a breach of the chandelier, a minor pullback, we didn't even get to 38%, and sure enough, there we go, a screaming high, higher, and probably if we were to take our Fibonacci tool and add another layer, well, let's see if I can remember whether we do this with zeros or, or whatever. I believe that the uh, upward move would be a minus. So let's do this. Uh, that's showing that one. So we're going to add a level. And that level is going to be a minus 1. And that's going to be our 200% in the opposite direction. And if we add percent dollar sign, we should get the specific number that was the target area. Add. Okay. Close. And sure enough, there we are. 111.03. So not only was the 200% uh, of the, uh, the double of this swing from A to B, but it also ended up right on an even number. And uh, the uh, euro has managed to get back all the way up to a dollar and 11 cents US. So uh, an interesting move, and we'll see if this holds or whether it continues higher during the upcoming sessions. 
Thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful practice.